In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the new layer mask feature of Photoshop Elements 9. Layer masks have been around in the regular version of Photoshop for some time, but it's not until version 9 that they actually become part of the default Photoshop Elements uh, workspace. Now, there have been workarounds for layer masks within Photoshop Elements for, you know, for some time. Um, but now we have a little layer mask button right here in our layers palette where we can add layer masks. So it's, it's a really cool effect. And what we're going to show you is how to work with the layer masks and some of its unique capabilities to create the effect that you see here. It's a very popular effect. And we're going to be using some of the photo edge files that you can download from ElementsDesignerDigitals.com. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, let's open up an image to work with. And so we're going to come into our project bin here where we have some pre-saved albums. And let's just open up an image that we want to apply an edge effect to. So this one will be a good one to work with. So there is the image. And usually what I'm going to recommend that we do first off is just make a duplicate of our background layer. And to do that, we'll just hit Control J or Command J on a Mac. And once we've done that, we're going to go grab our crop tool over here. And I'm just going to add some space to the outside edge of this image by using my crop. Make the crop bigger than the image. And essentially what you're going to be doing, of course, is adding some additional canvas. Now here in our background layer, let's go ahead and fill that with white. So I set my foreground color to white. And then uh, Alt Backspace here on a PC. Option Delete on a Mac. And that just fills our background layer with white. So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and Control Click here on our layer thumbnail. Little Control Click action there. And you can see what it does. It actually makes a selection around the outside perimeter of our image. That'd be, that would be a Command Click for you Mac users. And then I'm just going to choose this option right down here, which is the Add Layer Mask option. And lo and behold, there is a layer mask. Pretty simple stuff. Now, when we're working on the layer mask and we want to modify the layer mask, we want to make sure we have to be on the actual layer mask. So you actually would just click on the layer mask thumbnail and a little tiny frame appears um, that tells us that we're on the layer mask. Another thing that we can do is hold down the Alt key or Option key for you Mac users. And we can look at just the layer mask all by itself. That's kind of cool. And then one final thing here, if we hold down the shift key and click on the layer mask, it actually gets rid of the layer mask effect, revealing our actual image. Now, right now, the layer mask isn't actually doing anything, but we're going to fix that pretty quick here. So first things first, let's make our layer mask visible by holding down the Alt key and clicking on the layer mask icon. That makes the layer mask visible. Now let's go back over here to our project bin and choose one of the Photo Edges Volume 1 here. And these, of course, you can download these for free off of the ElementsDesignerDigitals.com website. And we'll just open one up here. And there it is. And you can see this is not a magical file. Uh, all this is is simply a black and white image that we created using a series of brushes and so forth. You can see that the center of this particular edge file is white and the outside perimeter is black. So if you're going to make your own edge files, um, you, just, you want to just duplicate the effect. Have the outside edges have a little bit of black and then what we want to see visually, um, that's what is white here. So we're just going to come to select all. And then we do edit copy. Now, of course, you could use those keyboard shortcuts, which is Control A or Command A, and then, of course, uh, Control C uh, for copy. And let's go ahead and close this out. Control W, right? And so back over here on our layer mask, we're going to paste. And rather than do that through the menu, we're just going to use our keyboard shortcuts, which is Control V or Command V. And there is our layer mask that we just added. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just free transform this. So we're hit Control T here on a PC or Command T for Mac folks and just drag it out. That's it. That's all we have to do. Just drag this out a little bit bigger than the initial square that we have here. And that's it. 
Now, we really don't see the effect until we actually click on our image thumbnail. And as soon as we do that, the effect becomes instantly visible. There it is. Very, very cool effect. Now, what we're going to do is we'll add to this effect and just give you another idea of how we might utilize this. So we're going to create a new layer directly below the existing layer. And here's a little keyboard shortcut for you. When we click on the new layer icon, it's always going to add a new layer on top of what we're currently working on. But if we hold down the control key or the command key on a Mac and click on the new layer icon, it adds a new layer directly below that layer. Pretty cool stuff, right? So that's kind of interesting. So then uh, once again, uh, we're going to add a layer mask. So we'll do that. And let's just fill the layer mask with black. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add uh, an edge file to this. So we'll just go back over here and look at our edges. And I kind of like this one. So we'll do the same thing. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Control W to close. Hold down the Alt key. Click on our layer mask icon over here. And then we'll simply hit Control V. Okay, so all that does is it creates a little tiny selection there uh, that we're going to modify. Now let's go back over here. Now right now we're really not seeing anything, so let's deselect and let's choose a color. And I'm actually going to grab an eyedropper and pick a purpley color from her dress. So I just hit the I key on my keyboard, grab a little purple color from her dress, and then fill this Alt Backspace with the foreground color. Now again, we're not seeing anything happen magically just yet, but the next step will make it all worthwhile when we click on our layer mask. Now we're going to modify the layer mask. Now right now it's linked to the image as well, and right now the image is just a solid purple color. Typically though, you would probably want to unlink these two. We're just going to edit the layer mask by hitting free transform, which of course here on a PC is control T control T, command T on a Mac, and modify this. And so we're just going to make this as big as we need to to get the effect that we're looking for. And I just want this little background effect here. You can see how really simple that is. And now you can see that that original photo edge file that we pasted in there is now much larger and so where the area is white here, it's revealing this purple. Uh, anywhere it's black, of course, it's hiding the purple. And that's really all there is to it. Now, if we wanted to kind of finish this off, we could come up here to our image layer, come over to our effects tab, and maybe add a, a, a little drop shadow effect. You go on it more dramatic, you could add a bigger one. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Now, if we really want to, we could link these two back together. Um, which is probably the proper way to do it. Now, now we can actually save this as a template. So let's say I want to I'm, I'm finish this project and I want to insert a different image. How would I go about doing that? Well, it's really simple. So I'm going to switch over to a different library of photos and let's open up an image. And actually, I already had that one open, so let's close that. And let's open up that image. There's there's the original image. Grab your move tool and just drag and drop. Close that image. And so you can see we have a duplicate now. And all we're going to do is create a new layer mask on that image. And then go to this one, click on that layer mask thumbnail, and hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and finally Control V to paste. But when we paste, as you saw there, I actually want to have the layer mask visible. So hold down my Alt key, click on the layer mask. Now I just have the layer mask visible. Now I can paste. Okay, So that's all there was to it. So I just turn that off. And there, if I turn off that underlying image, I would want to copy over the layer style. So we'll, hit, we'll right click on our original image layer and hit copy. And then right click and choose paste. And then my original image, you can see it's been turned off. So that's how we would just drop in a new image. And it's really that simple. Now, just another side note, if I want to modify the image within my little window frame here of my photo edge, that's another instance where I would unlink 
the two and then here on my image I could free transform and see how I'm actually rotating the image without modifying the frame itself. I'm making see how I actually can rotate the image so that is a nice feature as well and then I could relink those two together. So just some little tidbits there with the new Photoshop Elements 9 you can experiment with now and I think you'll have a lot of fun playing with those photo edge files there's 20 of them in volume 1 that again you can download for free at elementsdesignerdigitals.com and we have lots of other video tutorials that are free for the viewing so definitely check it out we're always adding new content uh, for you to explore and learn with thanks for watching